This is Eugene Panrutkovich I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Asus K55N laptop computer, and we're going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Asus K55N laptop computer. And this procedure will work with all versions of the K55 laptop, K55 CH, N, and whatever letters after it. Okay, before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we want to make sure that it's safe to work on, and that means disconnecting all sources of power, and that means removing the battery from the bottom. In order to do this, we flip the laptop over. There's two levers on either side of the battery. One is the locking lever and one is the release lever. So the left one is the locking lever. You slide it outward and then you slide the release lever outward and you pull the battery out like so and you put it to the side. Also, we're, while we're on the bottom, I'll show you where to find on the model number for this laptop computer. There's a label, a blue label, that says ASUS on it and the first line on the blue label says model K55N and also, under the battery, right to the right of the ASUS, it says K55N2. And when the laptop is newer, there's usually a label on the palm rest that says, that tells you the model number. Okay, in order to get to the screen assembly, you need to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, you need to remove two screws on the bottom and they're hiding behind some rubber covers. So that's where we'll start first. But before we start, I'll show you the tools that we're going to use. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and one is the size. A smaller PH00 electronics screwdriver for smaller screws. A 2mm flathead screwdriver to pry things open. A pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck or manipulate cables. And also an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife and that's to remove the plastic or rubber screw covers and that's where we'll start first. So we'll use our hobby knife to remove the screw covers, like so. There's one, and there's two. And once we do that, we use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the two screws at the bottom. There's one, and there's two like so. Okay, next we're going to snap the screen bezel off and what I need to, what I like to do for that is put my fingertips on the screen side and pull upward and outward and listen for snapping sounds and go around the screen like that. And if I'm stuck at a certain part on the screen, I just go to a different place and find where it's easier and come back to the part where I'm stuck at later. It, corners are sometimes more difficult so I come back to the corners later when I snap off the other parts. This one is a little bit tougher than usual but slowly we're getting it. Just take your time on this. This is probably the hardest part of the whole procedure. But we got it finally, and we put the screen bezel to the side. For this type of screen, it's mounted by some screws on the side of the screen to the metal mounting brackets. And we need to be able to access the screws. And for this particular laptop, it's pretty easy, so we don't have to worry about any other steps. So we take our pH. Zero, 00 screwdriver, the smaller screwdriver, and remove the two screws on each side. Or there's three actually. One, there's two, and there's three, like so. And the same thing 
on the other side. There's three screws on both sides. There's one, two, and three. Okay, now if you want if you want to make this a little bit easier, there's two screws at the top that are holding the metal mounting brackets at the top. You can remove those screws and that'll allow you to lift the brackets a little bit and that'll allow you a little bit better access to these screws on the side, but I don't think you'll need to do that. Once we remove the screws, we gently start tilting the screen forward like this, make sure it's not getting stuck on anything and we put the screen down like so. And for this type of screen, it has only one connector and it's secured by some adhesive tape. So we use either our fingernail or the hobby knife to lift up the corner of the tape until we can get a good grip on it and then just gently lift up this tape I'll get a little bit closer so we can see what we're doing. And same thing on the other side of the connector. The, the video cable has some adhesive on the back also. We lift that up and once we do that we gently pull the connector out and it comes out. Now before we go any further I'm going to show you how to reconnect this connector. When you slide the connector in, you'll feel but not hear two clicks. That means it's properly engaged. And let's get a close-up, see what a good connection looks like. Close-up. Pause the video right there and make sure your connection looks like this. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. So we keep moving. We remove the connector once again and we take a look at this screen. This is a 15.6 inch LED screen and as of late 2012 it's the most commonly available screen for, it's the most common screen that goes into laptops. And let's take a look at the number. The number you need is N156BGE. That's the number you need to look up. Now, when you do have your screen, most likely the part number will not be the same. It will be different, but the screen will be identical with identical specs because there's about five or six different vendors that make the exact same screen. Okay, you can also order this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, and what you get with us is a two-year warranty on the screen. If something goes wrong with the screen that's not accidental damage, we'll replace it for free. You also have free email technical support when installing the screen. If you get stuck, send us an email and we'll help you along. You also get this exact same toolkit that I used in the video for uh, free with this screen. And they'll come with the screen to help you install it. And finally, we ship from warehouses both on the East Coast and on the West Coast. So if you choose ground shipping, uh, the screen will get there in three days or less. And if you're outside of the United States, we can ship to most countries. Just go through our normal checkout procedure. To order the screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out with uh, with the laptop model and if needed your email and then we'll direct you to buy the right screen online. Okay, once you do receive the screen, plug it in as I showed you, put the screen back into its into the frame, put the three screws in on each side. I would start with the bottom and move up. If you're having trouble with the top screw, remove these two screws at the top and that will allow you to lift the metal mounting brackets a little bit and then you can put it in and then put the screws back in. Then you snap the screen bezel back on, put the two screws in at the bottom, the rubber screw covers, and then you're done. And that's it. Okay, um, once again, my name is Eugene Panrukovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.